What's up, Baku Gamers? I know I'm a little bit late on this one, but we have just received word from Gary Arant himself, one of the lead designers of Bakugan, thanks to Toolbox and us at the Baller Cafe for getting this information out to you guys. I, again, know I am late on this. This came out, I don't know, like uh, last Friday, Thursday, something like that. I just got around to making a video about it today, but with purpose. I wanted to talk about it in detail and the possible applications of the mechanic that has been introduced in the form of shields coming in the new Shields of Vistroya set. Now what is this mechanic I hear you asking yourself because I haven't done the, you the service of telling you yet and that was on purpose so that I could drag on the view time longer so the algorithm starts recommending my videos more to people that want to see stuff about cards rather than just the videos that I make about the fusions or Bakugan themselves. TCG gamers, rise up, please. <laughs> anyway, the new mechanic that I'm talking about is that pesky little shield on the right side of the card. Usually we've only, I believe, seen it on gears, which, okay, I don't know why they're only allocated to those types of cards. I guess they're pushing, this is our way of pushing gears, because year two is the year of gears, I guess. Uh, we thought that they would get pushed out because fusions were going to be the big, huge mechanic of fusion force, but it looks like we're finding our way back to gears and the third set of the year. Now, what do those numbers on the shields do? We have shields now, they're on gears, we know that, great. What about it? So, say something on Unholy Bow where it has a one in the shield. So the shield acts as an additional card for when you flip for damage. So let's say you lost turn one and now Hydrus is hitting you for six. The first card you flip is Unholy Bow. So how Gary stated it is the card itself, just Unholy Bow, flipping it counts as one damage, but the shield, since it says one on Unholy Bow, counts as an additional damage taken. So it blocks kind of, it, it blocks one damage essentially. So now Unholy Bow, instead of counting towards one towards the damage, it counts as two. So after Unholy Bow is flipped, you continue with your damage, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you drew Unholy Bow, Let's stray away from Unholy Bow in this example because even if it's in your hand, you're not using it unless you're garbage. Let's say it's a gear worthwhile. Uh, insert gear here. Now, if you draw that, unlike a flip, oh, now we're getting to the topic of this video. I had you dangling for a while. Oh, when are you going to start talking about flips? Now. It is now. We're talking about flips and we're comparing the shields to flips. Why? Because now you've drawn that unholy bow or whatever. It is not useless in your hand. Though is one additional cushion for your damage worth it? As far as we've seen, there's two, there's three uh so far and yeah that adds up because if you flip that and it's a two or three for a lot of decks that you're fighting against unless it's fury or might un unless it's a damage win deck you're going to be taking those two or hits or three hits the only thing that it really doesn't help with is team attacks those are going to be hitting you for some big chunks and unfortunately, these shields are not going to be able to keep up with that. The little pecs, the individual attacks, yes, they are going to be able to deflect those at a fairly consistent rate. But team attacks are where they're going to start falling in versatility compared to flips. Does this replace flips off right? Does it just kill flips? Are flips dead because of shields? No. No, they're not. Pact of Darkness is still a card. Confuse is still a card. Uh, dare I say it, Constrictor is still a card. Anything that stops core flips or is just an unstoppable force like Pact of Darkness are still going to be worth running in your deck even if they do nothing in your hand, which is the main side effect of having 
a decent amount of flips in your deck. And if we're talking about the shield cards that are coming out now, there's not really any of them that are worth running anyway. Not really. So we're kind of in the same boat until we start getting good shield cards, shield gears, shears. It's a step in the right direction. It is fairly adequate game design where now we're finally able to mitigate damage while not having a bunch of dead draws in our deck. I really like the way that this may be taking the game, but will this make its way into a slower game from here on out? Will this slow the game to a halt? If enough shield cards get good, sure, I don't see why not. You're going to be halting damage left and right, but also you got to think about it like this. It is still the basic mechanic of a life deck game, and you're still losing your best cards, especially if we make these shield cards good. So... That's just my thought on it. I didn't fluff this out to 10 minutes, even though I repeated the question that I was asking uh, to myself and to the void over and over again, just to fluff that time. I don't know why I'm doing that anyway, uh, because I don't make money off these videos. So fluffing it out to 10 to eight minutes doesn't really matter to me anyway. I'm just inconveniencing both you and I. Uh, I had no format for this video, as you can tell. Uh, this was just the ramblings. Uh, to surmise the video very briefly, because I know I scatterbrain. No, gears do not replace flips. Flips will still be relevant until we get bigger shields, like a four or five, which stops six damage, and that's that's insane. If you get a playset of that just lurking in your deck, could spry out at any moment. Sure, but it has to be a good gear or else you're not going to run it anyway. A bad gear is just as useless in your hand as a bad flip. So unless we get an ample amount of these gears that are worth putting inside your deck that mitigate damage and have a decent shield rating because these ones and twos are not going to cut it in the same way that a flip fulfills its purpose so it is yet to be seen whether or not that these shield gears are going to be a staple or another mechanic that just fades in the sands of time and that's the caveat with anything in this game if it ever gets good it could be good we'll never know <laughs> that's the thing about bakugan it always keeps you on your toes doesn't it isn't that just the best part of this game Yep, I'm gonna leave now. I hope I made sense at all. I don't know if I did. Who knows? I don't. You're the one watching it, so it's, it's on you at this point. If you did happen to enjoy that mess, don't forget to like, leave a comment. What do you think? Am I crazy? Do you like this new mechanic? Do you think this is the beginning of the end? Oh. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe too, please. Please, I need to justify my Baku Master status. I'm the smallest person in the whole ring here. Please. <laughs> Have a great day. Make good decisions. See ya.